Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we will see how to work with cookies in Selenium. So as you know, when we visit certain websites, sometimes they drop cookie onto a browser. And the reason can be, maybe they want to authenticate you. Let's say if you type your ID and password, your ID and password is getting stored in that cookie in that session. So in that session, whenever you access that website, it will directly authenticate you which save time. This is one example. Second example could be, let's say you are going on a shopping website and uh, you have selected a particular uh, item, right? So what they do, they drop a cookie onto your browser and uh, the browser knows that this is your favorite item. And even if you're purchasing some different item, it will give you a hint that you have some item selected on your shopping cart or you have some item which you can buy in the future. So there are different kinds of a cookie. Sometimes there's some kind of a marketing cookie also which get dropped. And through Selenium, we can work on those because sometimes it's possible to delete some kind of a cookie or maybe to add the cookie from our side or even possible to get the cookie in one session and to reuse that cookie into another session of a Selenium. So we will see first where the cookies are stored on the web browser. So there are two ways to do that. First of all, so I have installed one extension on Chrome. Okay. And uh, this is the extension which is called edit this control. Sorry. So this is called edit this cookie. All right, so this is one extension which you can install on your Chrome. Uh, so if you just go to Google and you can just type install edit this cookie extension. Okay, and here it is the first link edit this cookie. And from here you can install this extension. So from here you can see the cookies which are stored. So if you see here, so these are all the cookies which are stored for Google Chrome. Okay. See, I have opened the Google website and after that it has opened and it has given me all these cookies which are stored in my browser. All right. Now, uh, there's another way also. What you can do, you can just press the function key and F12 or maybe on your computer just press the F12 so that we can go to source of the page. Okay. From the same way we inspect an element maybe you can just inspect an element from here okay once this get oh, oh, this window get open you click on this icon and you can go to applications okay under applications this is the place where our cookies are stored so we can just click on that and we can see the different cookies which are stored for the google chrome see these are all the cookies which are getting stored let me just expand it. All right. And you will see some important uh, things here. So what it has, it has a name. Okay. And it has a value, right? So it's a key. It's a value. And there are some more values in this. There's a domain given for a cookie. All right. There's a path given for the cookie. Okay. And it also gives you the expiration time. Right. When the cookie will get expired and it will give you the size and if it is an http or it is a secure connection all right so these are all the cookie information which is getting stored on our browser whenever we are trying to visit some website okay now we will see that how do we manipulate this cookie when we are working with our code all right so what I have done in order to save time because this is a very large program and uh, it will take a lot of time to just write it and then explain you. I have already written this program for my site and tested it once. So we will just go through it one by one and we will understand what does it mean. Okay. So this is a program which I have written. The first line is common system not set property. We are setting up the property. And then we have written driver equal to new Chrome driver and then driver dot get to open a website. All right. After that, what I have done, I'm opening a facebook.com website. So what I'm doing, I'm going to this website, facebook.com. And here I've been typing my ID and password. So this is just a fake password. So if you type with that, you will not be able to get into my account. Okay. So you have to type the, I'm typing ID and password from this driver dot find element 
by name email and send keys then I'm typing my ID here and then driver dot find element by name password then I'm typing password here after that I'm typing driver dot find element and I have pressed the click button I've pressed this button right so that I can log in into the website so once I have done that what I am doing I am storing the cookie I am calling a method store cookie okay which will store all the cookies then I am closing my browser and you know if my browser is the only browser if I am closing it it would be equivalent to driver.quit so I am quitting my browser I am quit quitting the driver instance so I have to use I have to again go ahead and get this driver instance if I want to use it so after I did driver.close I am again doing driver equal to new chrome driver okay because I did driver.close and that was the last window so it performed driver.quit operation okay and after that again I am opening the website facebook.com and I am loading the cookie so what does it means once I logged in to this facebook.com website okay and I have typed my ID password and once I am in the facebook.com website whatever cookie has been loaded I store it first and the second time I am loading it I am loading the cookie once I am open the facebook.com so this is the op only operation I am doing and let me show you what it do okay so store cookie is a custom method which I have created there's no store cookie method in selenium selenium has some different commands which I will explain you so store cookie is a custom method which I have called and what I have did in store cookie method okay so here is a store cookie method so what I have did I have created a file called cookies.data all right and under that next line I am checking if there is a file which already exists I am deleting that file so I am creating an object file which is pointing to a file called cookies.data and if the file is already there I am deleting all its content and I am deleting the file and then again I am creating a new file okay and after that I am creating an object of file writer class okay and that file writer class takes a file in that takes a object takes a object of a file in that all right and after that I am creating an instance of buffer writer class okay and which takes a file writer object in that all right so this is the way I have created a blank file now what I want to do that I want to get all the cookies and save it into the file so how will I do that so this is a command in selenium you have to remember this command by heart this is a command in selenium through which I can get all the cookies from my browser so it says driver dot manage dot get cookies so it will get all the cookies of my browser and this is the enhanced for loop and I am going through all the cookie one by one okay so I'm going through all the cookie one by one so in the first iteration what I'm doing I'm getting a name of the cookie uh, if you remember I have shown you something here uh, let me just press F12 key okay so if you remember under wait huh? okay under application there is a cookie given here and there are few things which is given for the cookie okay one is name another is value so this is the same thing I am trying to get from that cookie of the browser I am calling ck.getName ck.getValue ck.getDomain so it will get that name value domain path and expiry date okay so I am getting all the things and also ck is secure so I am getting all these value okay and I am writing it so I am writing it where I am writing it onto the buffer writer which is pointing to my file so it will all get right into the file and after that once it is done I am typing buffer writer dot new line so once it get all the cookies from my browser it will save it into one file and after that I am printing a blank line okay so once this loop is completed 
After that, I am closing my buffer writer and I am closing my file writer. Okay. So what will happen? I just want to show you. So once we are passed through this line, which says store cookie. Okay. What it will do, it will create a file like this cookies.data and each cookie will get stored in a separate line. So you will see there are around eight cookies given here and it has name. Okay, it has value from here to here. It has all values. You can see it's separated by a semicolon, right? You can, maybe you can see this one, first one. So it has name till semicolon, then it has value, then it has domain, then semicolon, and then it has a timestamp. Okay, and then we have a true or false value here. So it's the same way all the cookies I have got stored here on this file. Okay, let me just open. All right, so once all the get uh, cookies get stored, I'm closing the driver, which is simple to understand. Then waiting for two seconds. I have given a pause of two seconds. Then I am again creating an object. I am just creating an object of new Chrome driver and assigning it to the driver object. Then I am again opening a website and loading the cookies. Now let's see what in load cookies which we have. So this is the reason I have written this uh, earlier because I know the program is very large and uh, if I write each and every line, it will take much time of yours also and mine also to write this. So that's the reason I have just written in advance. Now what we are trying to do now, again we have created an object of file and that its name is cookie.data and we have created a file reader and in that we have given this file object so that we can read this file. Okay. After that, what we are doing, we have created a while loop which says buffer reader dot read line is not equal to run. It means that you have to read each and every line till the time you don't get a null. Okay. And whatever line it read, it get into the string line. So it will read the first line from here. Okay. And this will get stored into the string line. Okay, now what we are doing right now, uh, we have creating a class or creating an object of string tokenizer. We have given the input at string line and we are separating it on the basis of semicolon. Okay, so we have created an object of string tokenizer. We are separating it on the basis of semicolon. And now my token, whenever I say token dot next token, it will give me the first value in that. So when say I say token dot next token, it will give me the name. Then I say token dot next token, it will give me the value in the same way. It will give me the expiry date. Okay. Now what we are doing here now uh, for the expiry date, we are mentioning a new date. So we already have one date, which is there in the file. If you want, we can set the same date or we can set a new date in that. We are modifying the cookie right now. We are not storing the expiry date as we have received. So that is the power of Selenium and Java that even if something is stored in that cookie, you can modify that cookie. Okay. So what we are doing right now, we are changing the expiry date of a cookie and we are not changing anything else. Other things remain the same. Okay, and whatever we have got, what we are doing right now, we are creating an object of cookie. Okay, it's come from the cookie class. We are passing all the values here. All right, once we are passing all the values, we are just printing it once so that we can get it on the screen that what we have got. And after that, we are calling driver.manage.add cookie, and under that, we are getting giving the object of cookie so this this command is very important you have to remember that whenever you want to add a cookie in the browser so in the first uh, in the first program we have retrieved the cookie from the browser now we are saving and storing the cookie onto the browser so this is the command you have to give okay and after that our program get finished here so what will happen after this? Let me show you this. We are loading the cookies, the program which I have shown you. And after that, our browser will be in the same state it was before. If in case the ID and password are saved in cookie, I would be able to get the home page without even it will ask me for the ID and password. But if it not, 
the ID and password if some other cookies are there for uh, was there in the file then it will load the same cookies into the next time so let me just show you how it works okay run Java application So we will see first it will open a facebook.com website it will type the id and password i have given and it will hit on login and whatever results we get it will store into a cookie file okay so it's stored in the cookie file and it will close the browser all right it will again open a browser because i have again instantiate the driver object again open the facebook.com and it will restore all the cookies all right so facebook doesn't store the id and password in cookies if it would have saved the id and password if i try to open the facebook.com it will directly open my home page so these this is like one of the condition you know which we can modify when we are working on the cookie so if we want to access the home page without typing the id and password so we can save the cookie and restore the cookie given the website is storing the id and password in cookies because many of the website do that which i have personally seen okay i understand that at the first time it would be difficult to you know understand store cookie and load cookie and it will be difficult to understand how the file has been you know read and write but once you try it once you practice it maybe you can just pause the video and you can go back and forward and just see what code i have written just practice it one more time you would be comfortable in that and the the commands which you have to remember are driver.manage.getCookies to get the list of all cookies, the set of all cookies and after that there is a load cookie in which you have to remember a command which is driver.manage.addCookies. Okay. There is one more command called delete cookie in which we can particularly delete some kind of a cookie onto the browser. So I have not shown that but you can try that from your side and uh, so i'm just showing you the code one more time so that if you have any issue you can pause it see and then practice it okay and this is the store cookie uh, program all right and now this is the load cookie program okay All right, so I hope uh, you are able to understand what the cookies are. Okay, if you get any issue or still you have any question, you can always, you know, uh, comment on the, in the description and let me know if you have more queries. All right, thank you for watching.